Tonight, a story that Target 12 investigators first broke on WPRI.com. A Warwick DPW worker fired after police say he stole city equipment is back at work. And we've learned the city has to pony up thousands of dollars in back pay. The decision comes after an arbitrator ruled the city wrongly terminated the 13-year employee. Let's get right to Target 12 investigator Tim White, live in the newsroom with the exclusive details. Criminal case against Kenneth Naylor is still pending, but despite that, the city was ordered to put Naylor back on the payroll and cut him a check for about nine months worth of lost wages. Last September, DPW employee Kenneth Naylor was arrested in a Warwick police sting and charged with larceny. Police say they found all this city gear in the back of Naylor's pickup. DPW tools, including a chainsaw, a full gas canister, and steel fire hydrant parts, all shown here in police evidence photos. According to an arrest report obtained by Target 12, Naylor told officers it was normal procedure to borrow equipment from the city, but the mayor fired Naylor after an internal investigation. Target 12 has learned just last week an arbitrator ruled the city committed double jeopardy by firing Naylor after they had already agreed he would face a 20-day unpaid suspension for his actions. In a statement, Warwick Mayor Scott Avedesian says in part, while I am tremendously disappointed with this decision, we will be making a number of changes to the city's personnel policies and procedures to ensure consistent and appropriate disciplinary actions in the future. The arbitrator ordered the city to put Naylor back to work and pay him back for approximately nine months of lost wages minus the 20-day suspension. It's unclear how much that will end up costing taxpayers. A spokesperson for the mayor says they are still calculating just how much in back pay they're going to have to give Naylor. Now, he pleaded not guilty in the criminal case. A call to Naylor's lawyer has not been returned. Live with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.